Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Laneside Reviews, where you asked and we're delivering as we take another look at the great kinesiology tape debate by adding a new player called Spider Tech Taping. guys, so welcome back. As always, I'm the Bearded Beast, Rob Johnson, joined once again by Scoops Porter. And as we said, we're going back to the great kinesiology tape debate by adding a new player. Now this player is local to us, being based out of Toronto, Ontario, Canada, called Spider Tech Taping. And, well, Scoops kind of stumbled onto them. Yeah. Um, I found some when I was looking at different tapes when we was out and about and uh, got a really good deal on some of them mm -hmm. and then we started slowly doing a little bit more research after that and uh, I got in contact with them and got us to send some samples for us to try out. Yeah, now when we did our last taping we took a look at Rock Tape, KT Tape and Genesis Tape and we had felt that Rock Tape and Genesis Tape, while they had things they did great, yeah. each one had its own special kind of place in our bag. And, well, part of that research, as Scoop said, was us going out and trying as much as we could get. And yet, that did not settle the debate. No. <laughs> um, so we wanted to make sure that we went back and we tested new players and the old players against each other to see what we found. And, well, when we went back and looked at our old results, they were pretty much the same. Yeah. So when this new player came out, I think Scoops was super excited yeah. because, I mean, you really liked the Genesis tape. Yes, I liked the comfort I got from the Genesis tape and the durability of it. Mm -hmm. um, the thickness was a little bit not as much. The rock, the rock tape, I just felt the strength on it was a little yep. bit higher than the Genesis tape. Yeah, and that's one of the reasons I liked the rock tape as well, the yeah. strength of the actual yeah. material. Because my legs are so strong and I do have knee problems, um, it felt just snugger and it felt safer. Yeah. Um, where you really liked the Genesis on your arms because it yeah. wasn't intrusive. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So with Spider Tech, you contacted them and, yeah. and what happened? Um, they sent me a whole bunch of stuff. It was actually kind of cool and awesome and I was very happy to get all their stuff. Um, but the really cool part is this company not only makes rolls, uh -huh. they make the eye strips like okay. you get from Genesis and Rock. Okay. Um, but they have body specific pieces uh, pieces yeah okay um which is really cool for your knee your neck your elbow your back so they take it one step farther rather yeah. than just uh showing you how to apply multiple pieces yes. they actually make a piece it's a one piece yeah to do the same it's work the same work yeah so that's kind of so they yeah. actually specialize directly mm -hmm. in in, uh, in fitting the body yeah exactly that's kind of um, cool with that said, <laughs> one little drawback is because you're putting on, like your elbow one goes across here and up over here, and so it can be a little difficult to do by yourself. Um, I know you tried the back one. And yeah, it was, some of the designs were a little complex and yeah. you definitely would need a second person yes, there. Yeah. Now the, the trade-off to that as well is that uh, most people who are having this tape applied do have it applied by a trainer, yeah. so they have that second so, person. Yeah, exactly. Um, but for the regular bowler, not every piece was as easy to use. No, exactly. But they did have something really cool in there. We're going to get to yeah. the rating in just a second. Yeah. Yeah. There was something that that comes in the pack that yeah. was... All body-specific packs have this little tiny thing. Now, one of the ones we didn't talk about was their X cut. Here and here, and then solid in the middle. Okay. Um, so these little babies, you can buy in a bigger form, mm -hmm. and you can get these ones in your little pack. And then what they're actually are originally designed for is to test and practice with, so you don't screw up your other parts. So right? you can go through it and kind of see yeah. how it sticks to you and everything. Yeah, exactly. And, okay. Make sure that it, it's not gonna, you're not gonna have a reaction and all this stuff. Makes sense. Um, but we found that they came in really handy because they're so small and so easy to apply. You can put them on real quick if you need it. 
Yep. Um, when I got all my... kinds of different places. <laughs> yeah. When I got uh, my sample kit from Scoops, yeah. I was actually having a problem with my knee. And I, uh, for you guys who've watched, I've had some MCL issues since Christmas, and I was actually able to throw that right on under my kneecap to get a little bit extra support and relieve pain really quickly. Yeah. <laughs> and I know, I mean, you've used elbow and hand and yeah. all over the I've place. I've used the elbow. I've used the eye on my wrist. Yep. I've used uh, the knee one. I actually have the neck one on right now, and it's. I had a pinched uh, neck earlier this morning when I was bowling, and it's helped right away. Awesome. Um, Steve Turcott that bowls on my team on Wednesday night. Yep. Um, Part of Team LSR. Was, yeah. He hurt his shoulder at work one day and came home, and his his um, his wife helped him put it on his shoulder, and he said within minutes the pain had gone away. Wow. All right. So let's get down to business. Uh, as you guys remember, there are. Four, four three, four. Four. Four uh, categories. There are four categories. Uh, we went with thickness, how thick yeah. it was on the body, adhesive before sweating, adhesive yeah. after, after sweating, sweating. Yeah. And, and then removal. how terrible some of the removals can be. Yeah. Painful. <laughs> yeah. Um, shave. We always recommend yeah. a shave. Yeah. Um, okay, so. Oh, and that's the other thing. They come with alcohol swaps. Yes, yes, that is something yeah. that I did notice that no other company I've gotten stuff from. Yeah. When you're on the road, they say that you have to exfoliate and, yes. and such to make it stick. Yeah. And they actually give you a treatment to put it on, yeah. so if you're out, it sticks better. It's better, yeah. So, so let's get to thickness. Um, you had kind of an interesting thing to say about this. About how it... I think <laughs> it is the kind of the best between the rock tape and Genesis. So it's not quite as thick, thick as, as rock, rock, but it's gives you a firm feeling when you put it on. Like when, when I use the eye strips on my wrist, I know that they're there mm -hmm. and it's super comfortable. Um, but it's still got that, that flex that you want to have. And when you put it on your knee, it's just the opposite. You feel that it's there and it's nice and firm. Like you mentioned, the rock yep. tape was. Um, but you got the, the nice flexibility that you had in the Genesis data. All right, so you now you rated it as an 8 out of 10. Yes. Okay. So next we're going to go for adhesive before sweating. Yes. How's your adhesive? It was awesome. Okay. Yeah, we gave it a 9 because it's easy to apply. Mm -hmm. um, what I also found is if you kind of screw up, you can kind of pull it off a little bit and then stick back down. Oh, that's cool. So you're not... Um, and then once you rub it in, she's there. Yeah. And it sticks nice. But you have a little bit of play. A little bit of play with okay. it. Yeah. So now adhesive after sweating, I actually, like I said before, yeah. I tried this out with my knee. Uh, I had already bowled a game and a half. I was sweating. Uh, and I put it right on, stuck just like the rock tape. Yeah. Uh, and didn't move the rest of the night. So uh, I definitely gave it a nine. Yeah. For that. I agree with you. Yeah. And then the all-important removal. Mm -hmm. Um... Now, the interesting thing about this, mm -hmm. um, like I said, I've been using it off and on for a little while now with the great deal that I got on it. Um, I've put it on and taken it off the next day. Mm -hmm. I've put it on and taken it off the night. Okay. I've put it on and waited five days, and I've put it on and waited a week. Okay. And it comes off exactly the same. It doesn't matter how long you leave it on there, and I gave it a nine because there was no real pain. Um, but like you said, make sure you shave. If you're a hairy person, um, <laughs> it, it will pull your hair. Don't I mean, get it in your beard. Yeah, Do not get it in your beard. Uh, Mike Cappy, which is also another bowler that we have on our team, part of Lane Side, he has um, hairy arms. Yes. And uh, he put some on his wrist because he has a little bit of wrist problems. And um, he said it was a little bit painful pulling it off. The hair, but, but he, I mean that's you have that's to assume, be given. Yeah, yeah, anything that you're you're gluing to your skin. skin, yeah, you're gonna it's gonna happen. So. Uh, so when we add that up, we actually get to thirty-five. Yes. Uh, so in your opinion, this is the best of both worlds. Is kind of the next step above. Yes, I I think yeah, it's it's taken what was great we found great in the rock tape and what was great in the Genesis tape and it's mashed them together and. Uh, yeah, I really appreciate them sending the stuff because it's pretty good stuff. So. Yeah, now I myself, I, I saw it as around a 33 or 34. Yeah. Um, like you said, the only yeah. detraction from it was that uh, the body-specific pieces were a little difficult 
Um, yeah. But you know what? I'm not an expert, and I've all also only had one or two to try out. Yeah. Um, so maybe in the future it would be much easier to do. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you know what? We were actually extremely impressed with Spider Tech taping his products. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. yeah. And being local. Yeah. I mean, it's a lot, it's, yeah, a lot easier for us to get it, and it gets here quick. Um, if you do want any more information, you can go to spider spidertech.com. Mm -hmm. um, you can also find them Spider Tech Taping on Facebook and link through that way because you can get all kinds of stuff. Yeah, and we'll put a link below as well so that yeah. you can find them as we, we tend to put links on yeah. everything. Um, now, once again, as as we've said before, the best way to find out if, if this works for you is to pick some up and give it a try. Um, for you, Genesis was better. For me, Rock was better because yeah. everyone has their own personal feelings. Yeah. All we can do is kind of tell you what we find and, and you can agree with us or disagree yeah. with us. But that will never stop us from bringing you more. Yeah. If you are local and you see me anytime, I do have a whole bunch of samples they gave me to give out. So don't be scared to ask anybody out there. I will give you a couple pieces to try out. Yeah. So. And you, you know what? Contact them and maybe they'll send you a sample pack to see what Scoops is talking yeah. about. So until next time, guys, we'll see you lane side. All right, guys, that about wraps it up for another show. If you like what you saw this episode and want to find out more, don't forget to follow us on Facebook at Laneside Reviews or click below. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel or click on the box. Or and if you missed our last video or just want to watch it again, you can click on the other box. And don't forget you can pick up any of the jerseys you see in our videos by using this coupon code at LogoInfusion.com. So until next time guys, we'll see you Laneside.